Star 101 Ramstein, and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix something that's pretty common to happen for damage to a guitar. It's one of my students' guitar, they brought it in, and it was in the soft case and it fell over, I guess. And what happened is you can see the neck is starting to separate from the body. Um, it's actually a very easy fix. Um, when you notice that happens, first thing you want to do is really loosen the strings a lot. You don't necessarily have to take the strings off, but I'm going to really loosen them. Even if you're not ready to glue it yet, you want to do this right away because the string tension is going to separate the neck more. And all you're really going to need for this is very simple. Some wood glue. Wood glue. Not super glue, not Elmer school glue, but wood glue. And a big clamp. So you need a clamp that's big enough to fit from the top of the neck joint to the bottom of the body. Um, finally, you want a couple pieces of scrap wood just so you don't dent the, you don't damage the body with the clamp, the pressure of the clamp. I've got some like, this is like um, some foam rubber, so that's gonna also help for this joint here, If I, cause it's rounded, it's pointed, so it's gonna be hard to get a clamp to, a wood block to sit there on the clamp. Finally, the only other thing I'm gonna really use is, I just took, you can use a toothpick, whatever. I used a, just cut off the end of a Q-tip. And that's because I don't want to push this neck forward more because it can crack here on the fretboard or it stops, starts to separate the glue on the fretboard to the neck. So there's not a whole lot of space to get in there. So that's going to just help me push the glue into that area. If the fretboard separated, you're going to also want to glue that and clamp it with a second clamp. It doesn't have to be as big. You use those wood, those scrap woods and clamp the neck down like flat this way and that way. All right, so let's get this glued up and started. And another thing, let me grab it. Um, when you squeeze it together with a clamp, glue's gonna squeeze out the sides. You wanna clean that right away. So get like a wet rag or wet paper towel handy and do it right away, otherwise it's a lot easier, a lot harder to get off once it dries. So let me go grab one. All right, so ready to start gluing. To get a nice good amount of glue in there as much as you can really let it drip all the way down now i'm going to use this q-tip paper uh, toothpick whatever anything to kind of just get that glue all the, as much in there as you can there's a little wooden peg that holds it together and you want to get that coated well Work that glue in. Even a paintbrush or something, a small one, would be good for this. And I've gotten really into woodworking, mostly with pellet wood over the last couple years, last year or so. So, one thing I've learned is wood glue, when applied properly, it's stronger than nails or screws. So, this should hold very well. Why it came apart, hard to say. I've seen this happen a lot, especially with cheaper student model guitars like this. It's not uncommon, especially when their kids own it and they drop them or abuse them, whatever. And don't worry about getting all over the place because once you squeeze it together, the glue is going to distribute a little bit more. So once I push it in, you see all that bleed out of the glue. That's normal. Don't worry about it quite yet, but you can go ahead and clean up the access with a wet paper towel, wet cloth, whatever. More is gonna come out when you clamp it. All right, so I'm gonna lay it face down. So the pressure is going, putting towards the, where I want the neck to go. We'll go ahead and get the clamp set up. Remember to use the, if there's a strap button at the bottom, take that off just to make it easier. And remember to use the scrap wood so you don't damage the, the body. And instead of scrap wood at the top, I'm gonna use some of this foam rubber. And you just wanna like push on it over here. And if you see if it's moving at all, 
it's got to be tighter. Once it's tight or it's secure, flat against the body, it's good. Now the thing is, you just got to let it dry. So uh, I'm going to let this go for 24 hours overnight at minimum, but 24 hours to be safe. So strings do put quite a bit of tension on the on the neck at the joint here. So we'll come back tomorrow after it's dried and uh, tune it back up and see how it holds. So this has been glued and clamped for about 24 hours. Time to take the clamp off and put the strings back up to tension. clean off wet rag will do it and that's it that's how to fix a very common do a com very common uh, needed repair on some acoustic guitars I have one more here of my own I have to do that on as well it does happen especially with cheaper guitars thanks for watching mm -hmm.